This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be using Inkscape to demonstrate how you can create um, text uh, that looks like it's made of like a glass with liquid filled inside of it. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So we'll minimize this and get started here in Inkscape. Uh, the first thing we want to do is, actually the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the font installed because the font I'll be using for this tutorial is called Bungasai and I will have a link to that where you can download it for free in the description. So before you open up Inkscape, go ahead and download and install this font and then you should be good to go. So the first thing we do in Inkscape is go to View, make sure that's set to Custom and then we'll zoom in at 1 to 1 and then I'm going to open up the Align and Distribute menu with this button right here. We're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button there. So the first thing we're going to create is the text. So we'll come over to the text tool, which is right here, or you can just press F8 on the keyboard. F8 will get you the text tool. Click on the canvas to get the cursor. And I'm just going to type in liquid in all small caps like that, lowercase. And we'll come up here to the text editor. And I'm going to find that font called Bungasai. I'm just going to type in B-U-N-G, and there it is, Bungasai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's, that's it right there. Go ahead and click Apply. Close out of that. And we'll come back to the Select tool. And I'm just going to hold Control and Shift and scale this up so it's bigger. Maybe about that big. And what we want to do now is convert this from a text object to a path. So we'll go to Path, Object to Path. And then we'll click the ungroup button so we have individual letters. And I'm going to take the opacity of this and drop this down about in half. I'm going to click off of that to deselect everything. So what I want to do now is get these letters a little closer together. So I'm going to click on the letter D and hold control on the keyboard and click and drag it to the left, maybe about that far in to the letter I. And I'll hold shift and click on the letter I, then hold control and move both of those over to the left a little more and then hold shift and click on the letter U and then hold control and move that to the left a little more be about that much that's pretty good then I'll hold shift and click on the letter Q and hold control and move this to the left be about that much that's pretty good and then I'll hold shift and click on the letter I then hold control and just move this over to the left as well and there we have nicely spaced out letters and it should should look pretty decent by now. So uh, what we'll do once that's done is we'll click and drag over the entire thing to select it all and go to Path, Union. And I want to bring the opacity of that back up to 100%. And I'm just going to uh, make this a different color for now. I'm just going to make this green. And then I'm going to right click that and go to Duplicate. And I'm going to turn that blue and I'm going to lower that one step, lower selection one step so it goes beneath the green object and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the color blue to give it a blue outline and you're not going to be able to see much of it at first because it's going to be very faint it's a one point a one pixel line so we'll come over to the stroke style tab over here and we'll change the width of this to maybe uh, 10 we'll see how that looks that's pretty good let me uh, make this a rounded join and a rounded cap and maybe make this a little thicker maybe I'll try 12 Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so 12, I'll leave it at 12, that works. And what I wanna do now is I wanna raise this to the top, raise that back up to the top, then I wanna click and drag this off to the side over here and bring the opacity of this down about in half. And then what I'll do is I'll go to Path, Stroke to Path, and then Path, uh, where is it, Break Apart, Path Break Apart. We're going to have all these individual little pieces. So let's click off of that to deselect everything. What we're, what we're mainly paying attention to here is the spaces between the letters and in the middle of like the letter Q and the, and the letter D. So we're going to delete everything else that isn't those. So we'll take this letter L and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. We'll get rid of this, get rid of the letter I. That little sliver right there going between the L and the I, we're going to leave that. This right here, I'm just going to delete that because that's really small and it's insignificant. Take this letter Q, get rid of that. We're gonna leave that space in there. Get rid of this, get rid of this. And to do this, I'm just clicking and dragging on it and pressing delete on the keyboard. Get rid of that, get rid of that. And um, I guess I'll get rid of that too, we don't need that. And what I'll do now is I'll click on this little sliver and hold shift and click on the 
the, the blue object behind it and go to path uh, difference and then I'll hold shift and click on the little space between the Q there and go to path difference and then hold shifts and click on the uh, the space within the D there and go to path difference and then we could hold shift and click on the green word and center it back up on the vertical and horizontal axis click off of it to deselect everything then we're going to take the blue object up top lower it one step so it goes beneath the green bring the opacity back up to a hundred percent then we can click off of that to deselect everything so what we need to create now is the liquid is the uh, the actual liquid within the word liquid here that you see like the blue I mean the uh, the red liquid in there to do that I'm gonna grab the bezier pen which is right here or just press B on the keyboard oops press B on the keyboard and I'm gonna start it outside of the object to the left over here and then click then hold control and move this line straight across horizontally until it's outside of the text over here and click and then hit enter on the keyboard and we should have this little line here and I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit so I can see it better you can just press plus on the keyboard a couple of times that's pretty good now I want to go to the edit paths by nodes tool which is up here and I'm gonna grab this line and just dip that pull that up a little bit and I'll click on this node over here to get this handle and I'll take this handle and just pull that down we want to make this line a nice little wave a nice little a nice fluid curving wave maybe make that side a little more steep and take this side pull that up a little more and I'd say that's pretty good right there and once you've got it looking somewhat like that we'll go back to the select tool and we'll convert that to a path by going to path stroke to path and then hold shift and click on the green word liquid and uh, go to path difference and then path break apart and then we can click off of that to deselect everything so what we want to do now is take all of the objects above this curved line and delete them so we'll take this one press delete that one delete 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 and just click in and pressing delete on the keyboard delete 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 then we want to take all these objects and unify them together so I'm going to click on that then hold shift and click on this one over here it looks like it's two separate pieces once you have them both selected you could unify them together by going to path union and I want to make these like a light shade of red maybe over here this uh, E9 AF AF that's a good start and then we'll take the, the, uh, the blue word liquid and uh, from the color picker I'm gonna make that a really light shade of blue maybe something down here the AFDDE9 I'll use that and that's just as a start so uh, we can we can adjust this a little later on for what we're about to do so the next thing I'm gonna do real quick I'm just gonna put some uh, air bubbles in there to do that let me click off of that to deselect I'll grab the circles and ellipses tool and hold control and shift and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle we're gonna get rid of that blue outline by holding shift and clicking on the X over here to the left and I'm gonna make that white and bring the opacity of that down about in half and come back to the select tool and just put this over the object here I'll just hold control and shift and scale that down Maybe about that much I'll duplicate that by right clicking it and going to duplicate put that over here and just make that one a little smaller just holding control and shift to scale it down and I'll duplicate that again put that over there maybe make that one a tiny bit bigger like that and then click and drag over all three of those and group them together and you have little bubbles there maybe I'll make that a little smaller put that there and I'll duplicate that by just hitting control D and bring that over here click on it again to get the rotation handles and I'll just rotate it around a little bit just so it uh, looks more random control D to duplicate that put that one over here maybe rotate that around scale that down control D to duplicate that put that put this over here maybe I'll flip this vertically and I'll hold control and scale this up a little bit and I'll take this one and hit control D and I'll put this one down here and I'll hit control D to duplicate that again put this over here flip that uh, horizontally maybe hit control D to duplicate that and put this over here click on it to get the rotation handles maybe rotate that around a little bit and uh, control D to duplicate I'll put this one over here 
Control D one more time and I'll put this one over here and just rotate that around. Maybe make that one a little bit bigger even. And then we can just hold Shift and click on, on all of those little series of bubbles and just group them all together with the group button up here. Group selected objects. So that's now one object. And we can press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And we can click off of that to deselect everything. And now is where the magic is going to begin. We're going to make this look like um, it's actual glass. We're going to make this look like it's liquid within the glass. And to do that, we're going to use the filter effects, which is something, uh, it's up here, filters. It's something you don't see me use in my tutorials very often. Very rarely I use these. But uh, for things like this, it's pretty, it, it actually comes in pretty handy. So for this one here, I'm going to click on the blue liquid. I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. And I'm going to make this blue. And then I'm going to go to filters, non-realistic 3D shaders, and click on frosted glass. And I don't know, I'm using Inkscape version 48. If you're using version 91 or even 92, I don't know if it's going to be in this order, but you should have frosted glass somewhere. I don't know if it'll be labeled non-realistic 3D shaders or 3D shaders or so. If, if it's not uh, listed like it is here on my screen, just look around for it. It should be there somewhere. So we'll click on frosted glass. And uh, let me send that to the bottom and then raise that up one step. And uh, let me go to the Fill tab and make that, let me just uh, under the HSL tab, I'll just take the H and slide that to the left a little bit just to bring that down. And that looks pretty good. I'm actually gonna hold um, Alt and click on that again to grab the uh, light blue text beneath that. And I'm just gonna take the L row over here and slide that to the right to make that a little lighter so it looks more like glass. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to leave that just how it is. And now we can click on the red one, the red actual liquid, right click that and go to duplicate. And I'm going to make this a solid color of red, a solid shade of red like that, just as a starting point. And then go to filters, non-realistic shaders, frosted glass. And yeah, I'd say that that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll Yeah, no, I'll leave that right there just like that. And that's that's pretty much it. That's how you can create this uh, liquid glass type of text using Inkscape. And that's one, one of the uh, ways that you can use the filters up here with Inkscape. It's really interesting what you could do with these. If you just sit around one day and just try them all out and see what they all do, you could find some pretty useful stuff. So uh, that's how you can do that with Inkscape. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.